right. You've transferred your Greek god, goddess, or monster onto your piece, and you've got your frieze drawn on. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see this, but you don't really need to see it. Just trust me, little finger here. We can see these lines. So it doesn't really matter if I can see the lines. It's important that you can see the lines. So I'm going to have my tool. This is a scraffito tool. My pottery. I'm going to put it on my lap. Hmm. I just noticed here. There's a little plaster in here. We want to try not to put any plaster with clay. It's a bad thing. It makes it so that the pottery doesn't dry out, and then you go boom. So we have our images ready to carve in, and I have my original image on the side so that I can refer back to that. I want you to take a look at the tool and notice that it's a wire on both ends. The one on the left is skinnier. The one on the right is fatter. This is a skinnier line. That's a fatter line. So what you're going to do is carve it out. You need to make sure that the open area is parallel to the piece of pottery. So I'm going to show you on the bottom first. If I carve in like that, it makes a nice line. See how that curls out? Then take your finger and just go boop onto your table. At the end of class, throw that in the trash so it won't have, have that on the floor. Now look at the difference. If you're doing it incorrectly, then it's going to do that. So that leaves a little bit of clay kind of hanging up. So the first time you like try to wipe stuff off, it's, it clears it all out. So that doesn't really work. If I rub my hand over that line, it's totally cool. So here again is the skinny one. And now this is the fat one. Fatty, fatty, fatty. There's the fat one. All right. So I want you to practice. Before you get to this part, I want you to practice with your tool. And I want you to carve out your name on the bottom. And that should give you just a little bit of practice. So just like with the Egyptian art that we did earlier this semester, you are going to make sure that you're turning the piece. Do not, don't try to like move your arm out. You need your hand-eye coordination. You need to keep your elbows down so that you can do that. So you're each going to get, remember to keep your pottery. Try not to touch the black area. On the last day, we will get out paint. So I'm going to lay that down, gentle. I'm going to try not to touch any of that. I'm not going to lift it up by the rim. The lip is also called the rim. I'm not going to do that. Oh, this is an important time. Hey, look what I just remembered. You put tacks in here to keep these pieces on. Now you're going to look for those little places inside, and you're going to just smooth those over. That's going to smooth it over enough that once we put that glaze on there too, you're going to be good to go. Now if you can still see light through it, then you might have a dribble cup when you're done. So do not hold it by the lip. Be gentle with it. It's getting more and more leather hard, and leather hard is really the best time to work on the scraffito. And each table will get five color-coded scraffito tools. If something, if you see someone misusing this tool at your table, I really, 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 really need for you to let me know immediately. These are not cheap materials. I did not skimp on these tools for you. All right, that's all. Go ahead, applause, go ahead. Thank you, thank you my adoring audience. Thank you so much. Oh, I'd like to thank my mom. I wanna thank my friends and my dog. Oh, and Mr. Little, of course. <laughs>